Welcome to Learn Knowledge. This is Abhishek Saxena. Today we'll be learning about ang angular interpolation. So we'll be discussing about the interpolation, how we can change HTML view from Angular component, how we can display view from JSON array, what is two-way data binding in Angular, and at the end we'll be having a quiz. So what interpolation is, it basically it allows you to use your string values to be displayed in your HTML templates. And also you can do various other manipulations with that data using various, various mathematical operators. So let's just go back to our workspace here. So this is the same component that we have created earlier. So we can simply just go to the TS. So before we go, let me just uh, share some details about the how we can declare a variable. So variable declaration, it's very simple and angular. Like you can simply uh, give a name of a variable and uh, let's say my name is uh, my string and uh, you can give it a colon here and you can give a type. If it is a number, give it a number, string. And also if you don't want to initialize your uh, variable here you it's up to you and if you want to initialize which we are doing in our case you can do it like this so now the question is how we can display my string to our HTML view so angular provides a very simple operator here so can try it uh, like this so you can use double curly brackets and inside those double curly brackets you can put your angular variable name so in our case it is my string so let's just save it serve it here we go so it will automatically allows you uh, your output to be displayed in your HTML template so you see this is the this is a string which we declared in our component and which will eventually will display here so let's just create a few other one we can play it around so we like my number Type would be number. Let's just initialize it to zero or maybe ten, and uh, you can simply just copy it, and uh, you can use double curly brackets to display. Now with the number or string, uh, you can play it around using your turn your mathematical operators. So let's say what's 10 plus 45 will be. So it will calculate the number correct number for you. So you can use the operators here in place of that. Also, let's say if you want to display some dynamic image and you want to set your dynamic image URL from your temp your component so you can what you can do simply just use the image tag that is img src now declare one variable here we like my image you can give it a any type a string and uh, let's just pick one image quickly from google just pick this one copy image address put it like here okay. 
save it in your source you can simply just copy this variable here that's it so it will automatically reload and the, your image will be here also you can do if you don't want to use parent uh, the curly brackets I'm sorry you can simply use IMG and square bracket source equals your angular variable so it would be like this you put some br tag here now let's just create uh, one JSON array in a component. So declaration is quite simple: a JSON name and using curly brackets. So what JSON is? Uh, it's a key-value pair. So you can give any key, like uh, car name and its value. My car. Can give any num anything like car ID like this. Now, in order to access this my JSON, we need to do something in HTML here. So let's just give it a parameter. Sorry, paragraph. My car name is. So in order to access my car, we need to go by my JSON. So it would be like my JSON dot car name. So let's just save it. Go back to the browser. Here we go. Now let's discuss about the two-way data binding in Angular. So what two-way data binding says, it's like whenever you change something, change some variable or dynamically through some events in your TypeScript, uh, then eventually it should change uh, or it will change in your HTML template as well without your site reload. So let me just change something here. So for changing, I'm just creating a simple function so in function, uh, the syntax is very similar. I can simply write my function, put some brackets, so we are not passing any parameter as of now. And uh, since this function will not do anything, I mean, it will not return anything, we can put like void. So this is how we can write a function in Angular. Now let's just change this uh, JSON car name to something else. So in order to access this my JSON, we need to put this keyword and th from this keyword, we can access any of the variable in our class. And my function, sorry, my JSON dot car name, let's just change it to my car two. And uh, so in order to call this function, we need to call it from some kind of event. So in Angular, we have various events. Uh, most often we use a click event. So let's just create uh, one button here. Button creation is pretty simple. You can simply write a simple HTML button and uh, use a click event in Angular. And to that click event, you can call function. So you can give it name like click me. Oops, save it. And uh, a teeny tiny button is appear here. So what will happen when I'm clicking on this? Uh, this will call this my function in our TypeScript 
and whichever code piece that you have written it will execute that so in our case we are changing the car name to my car 2 from my car 1 and we are using uh, my json dot car name here so it should change the my car name from my car to my car 2 so click it's changed so that's all for today so we do have uh, one quiz so the quiz is uh, what will be the output in browser after running below code options are 29 92 18 19 you're right the option 4 is the answer which is 19 thank you everyone please hit like and comment your queries in the comment section please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon